So you're dedicated to the life of boxing, man. Uh, yes, sir. Born into the sport. Now you live in the sport. Um, talk to me a little bit about, you know, the training that you're doing with these fighters okay. and also the promotion hat. Okay. Um, so I started as a trainer in 2016. 2017, got Golden Glove Coach of the Year. Okay. Um, I Man, I have at least five national champions, uh, multiple, numerous Golden Glove national champions, state champions. Go so, ahead and name drop a couple. Uh, I know Alexis, on Sammy car. Brown. We're actually all fighting. So we okay. got, yes, sir. We have um, Jake Reynolds, Golden Glove champion. Alexis Moniz, two time national Golden Glove champion. Sammy Brown, Golden Glove champion, Emmanuel, um, J.R. Guzman. Well, we call hey Jesus Guzman, but we call him J.R. Yeah, yeah. Golden Glove champion. So oh, man, we got five. a good stock going here as management. Yeah. Okay, so coach of the year. Yes, uh, sir. We got five uh, Golden Glove champions turned yeah. uh, professionals that could be fighting. Yes, well, sir. Before we talk about the promotional side, mm -hmm. let's get to the training side. Gotcha. Um, what kind of uh, drove that, and uh, what led you to to, to that? Um. I knew from a, shoot, since I started boxing, man, I knew boxing was going to be the rest of my life. Um, I studied a lot of Emmanuel Stewart. So to Legend. leave a legacy of Emmanuel Stewart, that's always been my goal. Um, from him fighting to coaching, managing, and promoting. So I knew, helping my dad with his fighters, that this is something I was going to do. Hey, man, you mentioned a legend, man. That's, yes, sir. That's, that's a, a great guy to look up to. Um, I still watch a lot of his fights, his videos, where he was, you know, talking to his fighters and still motivates me. Yeah, for sure. Man. Yeah. So, that's crazy. So, did, is that kind of what led you to, to kind of try to be like him? Uh, I, I enjoy teaching. I feel that. I, I, I truly believe I'm part of that 1% that Bernard Hopkins said with the teachers. All right. Yeah. I like that. So, I mean... Maybe that was the the whole plan the whole time, you know. The yes, sir. Whole career. It, it prepared me for it. Sometimes it's not meant for everybody to be world champion. Facts. But the, through the forty fights, the experience, I fought everybody. I can train every style. I fought every style. I switch. So that's I, what it prepared I, me for. And I think, you, and I, I see that, and I respect that because also, you know, we talk about stuff off camera. I mean, that's going to help you when. When you show up with your fighters, for sure. you know, to know the games, the in and outs, yes, that whole A side, B side bull, yeah, you yeah. know, you kind of know, you know what's up to help your guys. And I've done something that a lot of coaches haven't done. I've actually fought and won 12 round fights. Hey, fuck. Twice. Man. So, yeah. at least I have that under my belt also. Yeah, so. not a lot of people can say yeah. did that. Hey, I yeah. like that. You're real, man. Now, you talked about, you know, you always wanted to be a coach and you feel like you were that 1%. Mm -hmm. There was a gap there, man. Your last fight was actually against Malik Scott yeah. in 2012, and you didn't become a trainer until six. Well, why that little delay um, there? Because I was still trying to fight. <laughs> yeah, so the transition was my fights kept falling through. Okay. Um, there wasn't a plan B. Either I'm fighting or something else. Then, in all honesty, spirituality kicked in, and it's like God told me, hey, start looking for something after boxing. I know I still want to, I have a lot to offer the game, so I just figured another avenue to get it. Hey, I like it. Yeah. Speaking of another avenue, another avenue, another and avenue. Another, yes, sir. You're now you're promoting. Promoting, yeah. You got a show coming up. Yes, sir. Uh, I want April, you, 20, April 27th. Yes, sir. We're going to talk about that. Okay. I want to talk about what led the, the, the move to promotions okay. and the connection with King's promotion. Got you. So, what led to the promotion, um, I'm... I truly feel I'm good at good at developing, but David Gorman, I used to pick his brain. Wow. He had amateurs, turned them pro, managed them, and started putting on his own shows. The reason he started putting on his own shows because he couldn't get his fighters on other shows. Man. I have that same thing. I can't get them on other shows, so I put on my own. I like it. Yes, sir. I like it. And there's a big void for for boxing here in the Fort Worth area. And we're big, we're big fight town. We're big fight town. Well, like so said, I'm the one to bring it back. Five world champions. Yes, sir. And a Hall of Famer. Yeah. Yes, Ace. sir. Oh, so tell me about the name of your promotional company. R-E-M-G Talent, which is relevant for Entertainment Management Group. And then it's Talent at the end. Hey, about that business. Yes, sir. Now, co-promotion is King's Promotion. King's Promotion. It's pretty big up on the yes, East sir. Coast. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, sir. Kermit Centron. Yes. The one that, just the name one. Yeah. But uh, Marshall Kaufman. Shout out to Marshall yes, Kaufman, sir. heavyweight. Yes, sir. True right there. Well, no, uh, his son, um, Travis Kaufman. Oh, okay. So Marshall is the dad. Oh, I did not know yes, that. Yes, sir. Shout yeah. out to Travis. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll get yeah. Marshall. 
Yes, oh, sir. Tell me how that connect came about. So that's actually who Alexis is signed to. Okay. So doing that signing, you know, I would actually, hey man, with her being from here, myself want to get into promoting. Would you be interested in co-promoting something? And we was up in Philly a few weeks ago with one of my other fighters, and I pitched it to him again, and he was like, shoot, let's go. We got Golden Boy fighting here, Virgil Ortiz fighting on the 29th. Let's ride that wave on the 27th. Hey, you're doing a lot of, uh, old, I respect that. You yes, know, sir. I'm here to support. Uh, a lot of old school, old school guerrilla Market. promoting. Yes, sir. Uh, I told you you need to let them flea market. Yes, plaza, yes. But you've been doing a lot of that, man. Yes. I know you went to the uh, car show yes, or sir. University Park. Yeah, Trinity Park. I've been to La Grand Plaza twice, been to the clubs twice, <laughs> been in Dallas. Uh, I, I pretty much hit every space except Arlington. I'll be there. Um, I have a thousand more flyers. I'm getting at least two, three hundred printed every day. Guerrilla marketing, man. I'm yes, building sir. relationships in the community. Hit up the, the one of those Rangers games. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, so man, shout out to you making moves. Tell me about your fighters um, okay. that you, that you're working with, that you're signed or are signed to you, uh -huh. and that are going to be fighting on the card. So, like I mentioned, uh, Alexis Monis should be fighting. This is her second fight. Jake Reynolds will be making his pro debut. Sammy Brown, this is his second fight. He's undefeated. Emmanuel Tennyson will be fighting again. Uh, JR, Jesus Guzman, but we call him JR. All five right here, born and raised in Fort Worth. Tell me about JR. JR, uh, he, so he's um, what? 105, 108 pounds, 112 pounds. Numerous, won numerous Golden Gloves. Okay. Right there with Alexis. They was partners at the Nationals a couple of different times. Is he making his program review or second No, fight? this is his second fight. Second fight. Okay, second cool. fight. Yes, sir. And then you mentioned uh, Alexis. Who's, Alexis you know, Monis. Uh, we she heard a lot about. A lot the, about. Know, she is the only two times national female winner from Fort Worth. So we have to keep pushing that to keep get on that yes. show. Because women's boxing is coming on strong. It's, yes. We have another uh, female on there. Uh, Amy Selena is also. She was on the USA team. So we, we have some great talent. Busting the door, man. We're kicking it down. Hey, you're one guy that you mentioned, uh, Sammy, Sammy Brown. Sammy Brown, the Larry. Cobra. Yeah, I'm in, I'm a uh, little Lone Star Cobra there, man. Yes, sir. Uh, so, so he's making the second fight? Second fight. He finally got the meet where his name come from. So he finally got to meet Donald Curry. Oh, shit. And uh, so great conversation. So it's like, hey, man, that's passing the torch. Wow. You know what I mean? We so need to make sure he's at the fight. He'll, he'll be there. I got confirmation. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, so I did not know that. You see, that's why I, yes, I, sir. I, I, I had to do a sit down. <laughs> So yeah, I actually named him after Donald. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. So that's the Lone Star Cobra, and he he just wanted to do yeah, yeah, uh, the Cobra. Over. Yes, so sir. Was that you? Was that a combination of y'all? It's, it's, it's a, little, a little bit of both. Fort Worth rich, rich is right rich in boxing. Yes, so we got the True. Cobra. Jake Reynolds actually looks like a young. Um, uh, I can't even think of his name. I got it on the tip of my tongue. Uh, but he used to fight also Rock and Robin Blake. Okay. So Jake, uh, Rock and Robin Blake was actually one of the top contenders with David Gorman in the eighties. Oh, wow. So I told him if he he probably take Rock and Jake Reynolds. I don't know, but that's just <laughs> another name. I just but I just like to pay homage to the history, the rich history that we have here in Fort Worth. Smart. I like it, man. I'm riding with it. Now also, um, the show is Thursday, April yes, 27th. Sir. at uh, L L Corral West, thirty five and Felix Street. If you from Fort Worth, you know you, okay Corral you West. Know, you know. Well, you know the old Kmart. Hey, I that's just, the building. Now, not only that, but I've actually been to a few concerts. Out really, there. and, yeah, that, and yeah. they they host some great some great, great concerts, man. Yeah. yeah, so that's that's where we'll have it at, right there. It's a big venue. Yes, uh, sir. Tickets are available. Yes, uh, uh, Eventbrite. Yes, them sir. Um, they can get them get them through the link through the REMG Talent Face uh, YouTube page, YouTube uh, Instagram. Come to the gym, Dream Performance. Each one of the fighters, look up the fighters. You know, we, we have them. Yes. Eventbrite. I can't wait, man. True Boxing Heads will definitely be in the house, man. Looking Appreciate forward to that. It.